Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today I'm taking a look at uh, this accord from Poucher, Treflin number 1062. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In the last video, I showed you Poucher's Palma Violet Accord, and I've been working on something based around that accord, um, but it's not quite finished, but I'll be sure to share it with you soon. Uh, just to show you what you can do with the basic accord uh, once you've got a skeleton and then you just basically build a perfume around it and make it your own. But today we're looking at this accord. Originally I scaled it down and I began putting it together but I completely overdosed the amyl salicylate and instead of starting again I thought I would just dip a scent strip in to the oils, try a bit on my skin, see what it smelled like, see if I liked the, you know, the general approximation of uh, the accord of all these specific oils blended together just before I wasted some more oils by starting again and I really liked it but I thought I would just build a perfume around what I had uh, so I just used that as, a, as the skeleton I smelled where the gaps were and I just worked to bring everything up to the same level to blend everything together to find some balance and you know just to make it linear I also thought I'm going to make this uh, quite a transparent perfume so I just basically began to add stuff around the skeleton although I made a few changes because instead of ethyl benzoate I used winter green uh, instead of terpenol I used terpenoline and I didn't use a rose absolute, I used a French rose accord, so it's a, a rose base, uh, and I used a synthetic civet as opposed to civet um, absolute. Uh, so yeah, basically I worked around that. I added some more coumarin, but this time I used dehydro coumarin. I added some more musk ketone. I added some iso -E super. I added some whole leaf. I added a jasmine sambac flower accord. I added a little bit of a hyacinth base, a linden blossom base. I added some head yarn. That's basically where the transparency comes from. Um, I added a little bit of dimethyl benzyl carbonyl, a little bit of lindenol, a trace amount of melonol, and uh, a little bit of acetoin, aldehyde C10, and isobudovan. And it smells phenomenal. I really, really like it. I achieved what I wanted to. I made a very transparent perfume. It's very soft, very delicate, very feminine, uh, very fragrant, orange blossomy. Amyl salicylate is definitely the star of the show. You've got that near all in there just to back it up. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, making this perfume. I really enjoyed how insightful it was just taking uh, a general accord and then just you know building an entire perfume around it i think it's very insightful for you at home as well if you are just starting out if you haven't made perfume before because if you just have that general accord uh, and you can you know build around it you have that skeleton it can give you a lot of information it can also inspire you to you know sort of approach perfume um, in the way where you're not just trying to make something which smells nice, but where you're actually thinking about what you want the star of the show to be. You, you've already basically got the heart of your perfume, even if you've got some top notes, some bass notes, some heart notes. I'm not just referring to heart notes, but you, you know, you have the soul of the perfume. And then once you have a little bit of understanding about different oils, about things like, you know, Hedion, you can use Hedion to make a perfume more transparent, for instance. Then you can really start to manipulate uh, all of the different materials and you can start, you know, taking everything along the direction that you want to go. And, you know, you can, you, can, you can make a really nice perfume and it can be really personal to you. I really enjoyed making this perfume. It was really satisfying. I really love the Accord. It's a really beautiful, uh, fragrant accord. I think it's really insightful to smell things like this accord and um, these poucher books are fairly expensive. You can find a few of the formulas online but you can't find everything but for now you can just start on these free ones and you know just have some fun. That's what it's all about at the end of the day and I'll see you shortly for another one.